Hey, what's going on developers? In this video, we're going to create a show password strength component in a Next.js project. As you can see, we have a password input and then we have a password strength component, this red bar here. If I enter a really simple password, just like one, two, three, four, five, six, you can see that the strength of the password is too weak. And if I enter special characters, you can see the strength of the password is now increasing. And if I enter a letter and also some characters, capital letters you can see now the strength of the password is very strong so in this video we're going to create this input password calculate the strength of the password and then we're going to create this show password strength which actually visualize the strength of the password into the screen so with that extra explanation let's get into it so i open up a brand new next.js version 14 project and in this video we're going to use next ui as the ui library so i go to the next ui documentation and find the script for installing the next ui in a next.js project so here if i copy the script here okay and get back to the vs code i'm gonna install it with bun so here i just remove the npmi and replace it with bun add okay so these two packages is installed pretty fast with bun and i go back to the next ui documentation and here we need to do some changes to the tailwind.config.ts file i copy this line okay get back to the vs code go to the tailwind.config.ts file and add it here get back to the documentation of the next ui and then we need to add these two line in the tailwind.config file okay and then we need to import the next ui function here i go back to the documentation of the next ui copy this and here i'm gonna paste it here in the tailwind.config.ts file okay and then we need to create a providers components so i just copied the content of the providers components here in the app directory we're going to create a providers that tsx and paste the code here as you can see it's a use client and that's because it uses a next ui provider probably this is a react context provider so we need to mark this component with use client I save this and then i go to the root layout of our application and just wrap the children with the providers component okay i add the providers and just wrap the children inside it so let's import the providers okay we're good to go so you might ask wrapping the children inside a providers component which is a client component does it turn all the components to client components the answer is no for more information you can watch this video okay so we're done with installing the next ui so i close the layout file and also the providers component okay and then here let's create a password input component so i'm gonna say password input dot tsx create a component password input we have a div here okay we're gonna keep that and inside it we're gonna render a input component that comes from the next UI so I put a input here as you can see it comes from the next UI we're gonna have a label here and set it to password okay and then the type of the inputs is going to be password okay so now we can go to the page.tsx file and here we can put our password input so first we need to create a div here put some tailwind css classes i'm gonna put a border a rounded md for border radius okay some shadow shadow md and a p4 padding and then inside it we're gonna put our password input component that we have just created okay we're good to go so let's run the application i'm gonna use bound dev for it you can use npm run dev it's all the same open it in my browser okay as you can see we have a password component here let's put some password here as you can see the type is password and the password is not shown so let's add a show password button inside our password component i go back to the vs code and i go to the password input and here in this password input we need a visible state which determines the visibility of the password inside the password input so here i'm gonna say const visible and set visible set it to a use state okay and then the initial value is is going to be false since we are using the use state here we need to mark it with the use client so it 
it's a client component. And now we're going to define the type of the input based on the visible state. So here I'm going to say if visible is true, we should set the type of the input to text. And if it's false, set the type of the input to password. Okay. And then we need to put a visible toggle button in our input component. So next UI input exposes a end content prop that we can put some component at the end of the input. So here in the end content, we're going to put a button here, just a plain HTML button. Okay. And the unclick event of this button, we're going to call the set visible. Okay. And then just toggle the value of visible. So I use the prev here and set it to not prev. So I actually toggle the value of the visible state here. And then inside the button, we need to render the icon based on the value of the visible state and for the icon library I'm gonna use a icon library which is compatible with the Tailwind CSS it is your icon so here I go to the documentation and just copy the script for installing the hero icon. Okay, open up a new terminal, paste the script. It is with the npm. I can just run the npm install, but I prefer to install it with bun because it is much faster. Although we can interchangeably use npm and bun in the same project without any conflict. So here I'm going to install with bun. Okay, and let's close this off and I go inside the button. I'm going to use the conditional rendering here based on the visible value. If visible is true, I'm going to put a I slash icon. Okay. And then set the class name at W4 for its width. Okay. And if the visible is not true, we're going to render a I icon. Okay. Set the class name to W4. I slash icon is this icon and this is the I icon. Okay. And let's save this and go back to the browser. And here, if I click on the show password now we can see the password and if I toggle it you can see the type of the input is now password okay now we're gonna create our password strength so I go back to the VS code and go to the components directory and create a new component called show pass strength .tsx. and create a component here show pass strength first we need to define an interface for the props okay it is going to have a strength which is going to be either zero or one two or three so the value of the strength is either zero which means too weak one which means weak and the value two means strong and three means too strong we're going to calculate the value of the strength in the password input component in a minute and then send it to this component and here we can visualize it with some boxes so here let's extract the strength from the props okay and put the strength and extract the strength here okay Okay. Inside this div, we need to render one to four box based on the value of the strength. So here, let's add a class name here. Obviously, it is going to be flex and let's have the gap of two. Okay, so inside this div, we're going to create our boxes based on the value of the strength. So here, I'm going to use the array here. Okay, that from. We're going to create an array here and the length of this array is going to be strength plus one. So the minimum number of the boxes is one and the maximum is four because the value of the strength is zero to three. So now we can map through this crafted array here. I'm going to use the map function. Let's add the callback here. It is going to have I also index okay and then here we just render a div let's save this to break it to next line and let's set the key to index so since we are not going to remove any of these boxes here it is safe to set the index as the key of the rendered divs here okay and then we need to add the class names we're going to use the cn function which comes from the next ui it is a combination of the cls function and tailwind mirror so here I'm going to use the CN function. As you can see, it comes from the next UI. Okay. And then here, first, we need to put the H2 or the height of each box and W32 or the width of each box and a rounded MD. Okay. And then we need to conditionally add some classes. So here I can 
add an object here. This is the function of the CLS function in which we can render conditional classes as an object. As I said, the CN function is the combination of the CLSX and also Tailwind Merge. So here actually we are going to set the background color of each box based on the value of the strength. So we're going to set the BG red 500 if the value of the strength equals to zero. And then we're going to set the background to BG orange 500 if the strength equals to one. Okay. We're going to set the background to BG yellow 500 if the strength equals to two. And finally, we're going to set the background to BG green if the strength equals to three. Okay, so actually we are setting the background color of each boxes conditionally based on the value of the strength. So the two weak is red and the two strong is green. Okay, so let's save this and now we can go to the password inputs and put the show password strength component below the password inputs. Okay, so here I'm gonna say show pass strength. So we need to specify the value of strength. So first we need to create a state for it. Okay, I'm gonna say const strength and set strength, set it to a use state and the zero as the initial value. Oops, I forgot the set here. So let's add it to strength here and we're good to go. And then we just pass the strength state that we have just created. So we have an error here and that's because we can't set the type number to a union of these numbers. Either we have to create a type here, for example, let's say type strength, okay, and set it to zero, or one, or two, or three, okay, and we need to use the equal here, okay, and then we can use the strength type here in the use state to determine the type of the use state. So as you can see, the error is gone. The second option is that we can just set the type of the string here to just number. Now we need to a mechanism to calculate the strength of the password. For this purpose we're going to install a package called check password strength. I'm going to use the bun add check password strength. Okay and now here we're going to define another state here for the pass that is entered inside the input. So here I'm going to use pass and set pass okay use the use state here and set its initial value to a empty string okay and then we need to bind this state with the input here so I'm gonna use on value change okay we're gonna have a value and then use the set pass here and pass the value inside it we can also use the on change and call the set path with the e dot target dot value that's the same okay so now we have the value of the password that is entered inside the input we're going to use a use effect hook here so i'm going to say use effect okay and then put a function inside it and inside this we're going to call the password strength function so let's manually import it okay so now we can use that password strength function okay and then pass the value of the password so let's just log the returning value of this function so i'm going to say console.log and put a strength key here okay and then pass the value of the pass strength function so now let's go to the browser and open up the console okay i'm going to put some value inside it you can see we have an object here and inside this object it has the contains for example it says that it only has lowercase characters as you can see it has a value that says it's two weak password a length and also an id so the ID for the two weak is zero, for weak is one, strong is two, and two strong is three. So here we can set the strength value with ID of the returning object of the password strength function. So here I'm gonna say set strength, okay, and put the password strength function here and call the ID of the returning value. Again, we have an error here and that's because we can turn it to the strength type that we have defined. It is either zero, one, two, or three. So now let's go to the browser. Let's close off the console. And before testing it, let's add some gap between the password and the pass strength. So I go back to the VS code and input password component. In the root div, I'm gonna add a class name 
now OK. I'm going to set it to flex and set the direction of the flex to flex cool. OK. And then we can add some gap, for example, gap to here. So as you can see, we have some gap between the password input and the password strength function. So let's toggle the show password. And here let's put some weak password, add some special character here. And let's put some letter, a lowercase letter and some number. You can see now we have two strong paths and the show strength password visualized it and as a last thing let's go back to the VS code and the show pass strength component and add grow here which is actually set the flex grow to one so if password strength is three we just want these boxes to have the maximum width throughout the width of the parent container so yeah that's it for this tutorial we have calculated the strength of the password with the check password strength package and then we have created a show pass strength component to visualize the strength of the password below the password input. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.